Welcome, everybody, to Econ 100, Economics of the Citizen. My name is Tim Grossclose. I'm the professor for the course. Uh, by the way, this is my first time teaching it, uh, and uh, not only um, are things new by uh, using the um, coronavirus lockdown years, um, also the, the material is going to be slightly new for me, uh, but I, I hope we can uh, get along with this. Um, what I want to do right now from the beginning is just explain um, some various aspects of the course uh, from the syllabus, uh, just some basic things you'll need to know. Uh, first off, you should have gotten an email from me uh, that gave the syllabus. Uh, you should have also gotten an email from Dropbox inviting you to join uh, the, the group or, or whatever they, they call it, the Econ for the Citizen um, group on Dropbox. So what Dropbox will have, it will be a list of files that you should be able to access those files. Uh, when you got the email, there was only one uh, at the time. That was the syllabus. So I hope everyone has read that. Uh, just in case, I'm going to describe now some of the key aspects uh, from that syllabus. First of all, uh, the textbook. It's called the Economic Way of Thinking by um, actually I don't even know how to pronounce his first name. Uh, the first author I think it's Haney. The second one is is Betke. Uh, by the way, uh, his name is Peter Betke. He's a professor at George Mason, uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, and then the third is Prochitko, something like that. Uh, so we'll use that textbook. Uh, I have the thirteenth edition. That's the one I'll be reading from. But uh, I've also looked through the 12th edition. It looks like they're the same. I, I haven't yet found any differences. So, so uh, uh, if it's easier to get the 12th edition than the 13th, I can go ahead and get that. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. I think you, you should be fine. Uh, we're going to read most of the book. Uh, be sure to look in the syllabus where I've listed a tentative schedule. Uh, where I list the weeks and... Uh, within the weeks, the session that we'll do. By the way, uh, even though we're all online, I'm going to try to pretend like this course is one that meets twice a week on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, I, I'm going to assume, that, pretend like the times are 9 a.m. to 10:15. Um, of course, you don't have to do that. You can watch these these lectures whenever you want. Uh, the one exception will be the three days that we have an exam. I will want you to to be available at exactly those times. It'll be a Tuesday or Thursday beginning at, at 9 a.m. Um, but um, regardless, I'll, I will try to, I'll split these things up into sessions. So a session is like a day. So session one is, uh, I will pretend like this is we were in class on Tuesday, August 25th, and this is what I would have discussed on the first day of class. By the way, I'm discussing that right now. Um, so when you go to Dropbox, you will see a list of files that, that I've posted there, and including the video lectures. Now, what I try to do is I begin each file with the number, and that corresponds to the session. So you should have already seen the video you're looking at will be something like 01.videolecture.a. Um, the rule of thumb I want you to do is when for whatever session you're 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 looking at for the, the time being look at that number say session one and just read all the read or watch all the files that correspond to 01 okay same thing when it's session two will be 02 and, and so on um, okay um, next uh, uh, the grading things are going to be a little bit different um, the the only grading for this course is exams. So we're going to have three exams, two midterms plus a final. There's no homework, or at least I say no graded homework. You're not required to turn in any homework. Now there are chap there are questions at the end of the chapter, and I encourage you uh, to do those questions. And part of my video lectures are going to be to explain some of those homework problems. I'm going to explain the ones, the questions I think are most interesting, the ones that I think are most likely to be ones that become a, a question on the midterm. Um, and then I'll explain how I would have graded those. I would say here's the right answer, or if it's an essay question, I'll say here are the buzzwords that I may be looking for. Um, uh, 
So uh, we'll get to that. But the, uh, the key thing is uh, there's uh, no homework, no graded homework, just exams. Now you're required to watch all the lectures. You're also required to do all the reading that I, I list in, in the syllabus. You're responsible. Now there are times in my video lecture I will explain the reading. But that does not mean if there's stuff in the reading that I don't explain in the lecture that it's it will it, that it's fair game to ignore it. No, that's that's not true. Even if I don't discuss it, if it's in the reading, even if I don't discuss it in the lecture, it still could be on the exam. So you're responsible for the reading, even the stuff that I don't explain in the video lectures. Okay. And there's also some maybe some stuff I put in the video lectures that won't be in the reading. Okay. Both things. If I, if I discuss it either in the video lecture or if it's discussed in the reading, that's fair game uh, for an exam question. Um, next, note in the syllabus where I explain how we're going to do the, the exams. Um, because everything's online, we're not meeting in the classroom, we're going to have to do the exams online, and I'm going to use Respondus Lockdown. So be sure to, to look that up. I'll explain more as the class goes on, but I think you, you may have had some experience with it uh, last semester. Um, it's a software program that's available on Blackboard. So if you go to Blackboard uh, through, through uh, George Mason, um, it explains how to download the software, uh, things like that. If not, we'll talk about it later. And we'll also have like a practice test where it, it won't be graded, but we'll just practice using um, all the, the software. Um, you'll download that software, and the key is that software uses a camera on your computer. So when you take the exam, there will be a camera on you, and then the software will ask you to turn your computer around to show everything in the room. Now, you're supposed to be in a room where it's just you in the room, and you're not supposed to have anything like a textbook or any another computer that you can consult. Now, Respondus Lockdown will allow you only to use that software program. It will it will cause the exam will take your entire screen and you will not be able to access other software packages on your computer. For instance, you will not be able to access the, the internet to look up answers, say, during the exam. That's that's the whole point of this Respondus Lockdown software. Now the key thing is you gotta have a, a camera on your computer. Now last semester I had some students who did not have that, and I was a little bit lenient. I won't be this semester. You know ahead of time. You have to have a camera on your computer. And I, and, uh, I know that Respondus Lockdown, it works for um, all the, the Mac computers, all the PC computers. It does not work, at least in the current version, or at least in older versions, of a Chromebook. So if you have Chromebook and there's no computer, you're going to have to find a computer that you can borrow on the exam dates. Next, make sure on the exam dates, so you will have to take the exam on those dates. Now everything else in the course, it'll be up to you. It, it, things are, are very flexible. You can um, do the lectures, uh, when, look at the lectures whenever you want, do the reading whenever you want. Uh, but the key is the, the dates of those midterms. And let's see if I can find those dates. Those dates, mark them now, October 1st, which is a Thursday, November 17th, which is a Tuesday, and then uh, almost surely uh, December 10th will be the final. The, the, when I looked on the George Mason calendar where it said that the times for final exams, I looked on for the classes that meet Tuesday and Thursday from 9 to 10, 15, and it gave us and a final exam time uh, is December 10th, and I think it started like at 8 a.m., but for our final, we won't use the, normally you have like two hours for final, we'll, I'll only use an hour and 15 minutes. So, uh, so on that Thursday, December 10th, you'll just need to be available from 9 a.m. to 10.15. So if, if things like you're working, you have a job, that won't be an excuse. You say, no, I can't take the exam that day, my boss needs me to work, no. You were warned ahead of time, so be sure to tell your boss, you've got to take it at that time. You say, but it's online. We can take it anytime. No, there's a point that I've got to admit that it's very easy to cheat during these times when everything is online. You can take the test. 
email your friends. We got to minimize that possibility. One way to minimize that is have everyone take the exam at the same time and to use a software program like Respondus Lockdown where you can't email your friends or, or call your friends uh, during the exam. Okay, uh, so that's important. Uh, uh, I told you about your, my lectures. Uh, for the most part, what I'll do is um, I will look through the reading, and every once in a while there's a concept that I think is fairly difficult and deserves a little more discussion of it than the the textbook does. And I'll, I'll say I want to give a little more explanation of that, and that's mostly what my lectures will be. It's not a substitute for the reading, but it's often um, a compliment that it will be an aspect to explain a, a, a very hard concept um, uh, so it helps you understand uh, when you do the reading. Then also I will do a big part of my lectures will just be explaining lots of the homework problems. Now, I've let you have, I've given you a break on no homework problems, so now, on the one hand, it's supposed to be an hour and 15 minutes per session. Now, given that I'm not giving you any homework problems, I feel like I have the right to make my lectures more than an hour and 15 minutes per session. That is more than two and a half hours per week. But if I do that, a big part of that will just be part explaining the homework problem. So it'll be like doing homework. It'll be like the regular lecture where I explain the chapter, but then maybe some extra part that may go over time, which will be explaining the, the homework problems. Um, okay, so I think that is how I'm going to end the um, kind of key aspects, the, the warm-up, the kind of ground rules for the course, uh, the explanation of the syllabus. What I'm going to do is I'm about to end this lecture. So this one I'm, I've entitled something like 01 Video Lecture dot A. I'm going to end it, and then in the next one, something like 01 video lecture dot B, I'm going to explain some aspects of the course. So be sure to click on that next file. By the way, I, I break these up just because sometimes uh, it's hard to download big files. Also, sometimes I may make a mistake in my lectures, and it's easier if I don't have to redo the entire lecture instead of I can just do part of it. So for that reason, I'm going to break up my lectures into usually two to four, maybe two to five lectures uh, per session. Okay, so be sure we're ending this part. Be sure to click on part B. Okay, see you there.